everybody, what is up? My name is Mackenzie. And I'm Jonathan. We are husband and wife, and we'd like to welcome you to Paradise. And today we're gonna give you our 2021 inaugural tour of the Paradise collection. So a lot of times in our videos, we talk about that we live in New York and that we don't have a lot of shelf space. Well, while I say we don't have a lot of shelf space, we live in a one bedroom apartment, but we do have about 130 board games. <laughs> 130. 130 board games in this apartment. Now, how do we do that? Well, I can't take the credit. John over, and over here is the mastermind of organizing. And so why don't you tell them about how you not make me go crazy with board games everywhere, but still have so many. I don't know guys, we have the Calyx shelves from Ikea, which is like a board game staple. You'll see that a lot, uh, but I highly recommend them. It's a great shelf. And in each cube we can fit somewhere around 10 to 15 games, depending on the size. Uh, you just gotta get really clever about, you know, what five, six are in front and what four are behind. At some point we run out of space and we just have too many games. We have a little overflow, you'll see. But at, at that point, usually we give away games, honestly. By the way, if people are interested in seeing a video about like who to give games away to, how to give away games, what's the best way to like get rid of your games, um, let us know in the comments and maybe we'll do a video on it. All right, let's jump into that collection. All right, first up we have the New York City Cube because we live in New York, so we put all our New York games in one place. You got New York Zoo, New York 1901, you got this game, Park Avenue. Oh yeah, that's the one we're designing. More on that later, if you didn't see our live stream. Uh, we have King of New York, Ticket to Ride New York. Uh, back in the back we got Gargoyles, so it just takes place in Manhattan. And we have uh, Pandemic Hot Zone, because we're in the hot zone, it's funny, right? Not anymore. Next up, we got the island theme shelf, the exploration shelf. We have Jamaica, Spirit Island, Robinson Crusoe, Lost Ruins of Arnak. Even this Arkham Horror expansion takes place in the jungle. And we have cartographers, because map making is kind of explory. In the back, we also have Nanga Parbat by Stephen, and the board game tables, Sequoia and Mountain Goats. This is what I like to call the Stone Meyer shelf. So we have Tapestry, Between Two Castles, The Mad King Ludwig, Wingspan, Red Rising. Behind this is Viticulture. And then we also have all the scythes, scythe, 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 scythe. And then behind this shelf, we have Pendulum and then the Wingspan expansions. All right, here we have Everdell, all the expansions. We're gonna be putting the next two expansions there once they come in. And also Gloomhaven, Jaws the Lion. And then behind that, we got Harry Potter, Hogwarts Battle, the deck builder. Here we have the Prospero Hall shelf. We got Villainous, all the expansions. And behind that, we have Marvel Villainous and the Mischief and Malice expansion. We also have the Prospero Hall game Pan Am and Horrified up here as well. In the back, because I just memorized it, is Call to Adventure and Betrayal at House on the Hill. And then these are our newer games. Games. We have Unmatched Cobble and Fog, Unmatched Jurassic Park, Unmatched Robin Hood versus Bigfoot. And then we have the Parks base game and then also the Parks Nightfall expansion. And then this one right here, we have Ultra Tiny Epic Kingdoms. We have this Scythe expansion and then we have this Rolling Realms by Stonemaier Games. Up next is our small box games. It kind of hurts sitting right here. Let's get going. So up at the top, we have Silver and Gold. We have Tiny Epic Pirates, Curse of the Amnok expansion, which is the expansion to this game. Then we have Tiny Epic Galaxies, Tiny Epic Zombies, Tiny Epic Dinosaurs, lots of tiny stuff. Then we have That's Pretty Clever, That's My Fish, Mr. Jack Pocket Edition. Keep moving down. We have Metro X, Patchwork, Welcome to Your Perfect Home. The Duel, Seven Wonders Duels plus expansions, Agora and Pantheon. Then we have Emotep the Duel and then Lost Cities. All right, and then let's see what's behind here because I think it's a lot. So we have Santa Fe and nope. then- Santa Monica. Oh, we have Santa Monica. And then we also have, it looks like Terraforming Mars. And it looks like we have Terraforming Mars. No, and Terraforming Mars isn't in the shelf. Yes, it is. It is? Yeah, I see it right there. Well, hey guys, looks like you made it halfway through the video. If this video is helpful to you and if you're liking it, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really does mean the world to us and really helps us keep putting out more board game videos. Anyway, back to the video. Next up, we have the mostly feudal medieval shelf. This is Lords of Waterdeep, Game of Thrones, Rise of Nobility, Carcassonne, Jaipur, which is next to Splendor. And behind that, you have uh, three Steve Finn games, we got Mining Colony, Biblios, and Butterfly Garden. Also World's Fair 1893. And to fill in this gap, we got Taco Cat Go Cheese Pizza. Hey, that's a good game. Continuing past Splendor, we have Tiny Towns, Quacks of Quedlinburg, Taverns of Tiffenthal, and two facade games, we have Bristol 1350 and Tortuga 1667. Behind that, we got Great Western Trail. Hi, me again, on the floor. 
Okay, so this is our party game shelf. In the back we have Ticket to Ride Europe, and then we have Hive, and then One Night Ultimate Werewolf, Ticket to Ride, Camel Up, Terraforming Mars, Aries Expedition, don't know if that's a party game. Then we also have Calico, and then Railroad Inc. All right, continuing on with the party shelf, we have Survive, Escape from Atlantis, we have The Crew, Sushi Go Party, great game, Codenames Duet, Throw Throw Burrito, Classic detective game, Clue, and Be a Broadway Star. Let's see, we also have here two love lovers, love letters. We have regular love letter and then Marvel love letter. And then eh, let's see what we got in the back. We have Pandemic Fall of Rome, regular pandemic. We also have Ticket to Ride London, Codenames Disney Edition, and then Cinder. And I think that's it for over here. Now, let's go check out Jonathan's closet, because this isn't it. Come on, let's go. All right, next up we have my closet, which is not a place we tuck games away. In fact, this is where I put some games for easy access, because it's way easier than behind the cube. Up here we have Quarto, Funfair, Jaws, which is an awesome hidden information game. We have Secret Hitler, which we got as a gift. Have not had a chance to play it yet. Pretty excited though. King Domino, next to that we have another copy of Tiny Epic Zombies, which we may be doing a giveaway of in October, so stay tuned. We also got a bunch of party games behind. We got Farts and Fairies, uh, Bananagrams, Bananagrams Duel, Manito, Oopsie Poopsie, Cards Against Humanity Family Edition, Labyrinthos, Mr. Jack in New York, Telestrations, Roll Camera, you might be getting some exclusive information on that in October, so stay tuned. And behind that we got Arkham Horror, Harry Potter Chess, Fiverr Finden, and Smart 10. And down yonder by the PlayStation, we got Gloomhaven. Okay, so the question remains, have we played all these games? Most of them, yes. But let me direct you to the shelf of shame. Okay, folks, so this is our whiteboard where we track all of the games that we have not played yet. Uh, of these, we only bought one of them. Most of them are, are gifts or review copies. But then we also have like expansions we haven't played and then any incomplete campaigns if we're in the middle of a campaign game. Okay, you have seen all of the games in our collection. You have basically seen our apartment, but let's talk about specifics real fast. So as of right now, I wanna ask you, in 2021, in September, what are your three favorite games in our collection? Okay, so there's like the top games that I would pull off the shelf right yeah. now and I'd play them right now. Yep. Okay, uh, that's gotta be, I really wanna play Lost Ruins of Our Neck again. Really enjoying that. And I'd also say Scythe and Unmatched are like the three that I'm super into. Uh, also, I'm always down for a game of Everdell. Sorry, that's not three, but <laughs> that's like a permanent addition to the list. What about you? Okay, so the ones I would play right now is Camel Up. I love that game. It's a good one. And <laughs> I really would like to play Gloomhaven because we're getting really deep into the storyline and yep. I would love to finish that. As well as, oh gosh, what was the other one I was saying I really like? Uh, Horrified. Horrified, in yes. October. I yeah. am getting really into the Halloween <laughs> spirit, pumpkin spice latte life, and I'd really like to play Horrified soon. So people ask us also, what games do you get expansions for? Are you a completionist? Do you get everything? We do not get everything. We, we can't afford the space to get everything. If it you fits probably in the base would box, if I said yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If it fits in the base box, we're way more likely to get an expansion. But which games do we have the most expansions for? That's Villainous. Of course, you've seen all the Villainous. We got everything. Uh, we also have all the Scythe expansions, we have all the Everdell expansions, all the Wingspan expansions. We've done several review copies for that stuff, so uh, that's another favorite. And we're starting to get a lot um, of unmatched copies, yeah? Yes, that's we have- building up. Okay, we have three, and there might be another one coming in the mail tomorrow with Beowulf and Little oh, Red Riding Hood. Oh, I forgot about that! <laughs> 131. Yep. So let's say new board gamers come over today, not a lot of experience, Monopoly, and they want to play a game. What game do you pull out right now? Sushi Go Party. That is our go-to whenever we would go to parties. <laughs> that is a go-to. Jonathan sticks that a lot of times in his backpack. It always seems to be a crowd pleaser, so definitely Sushi Go Party. Yes, I recommend Sushi Go what Party. What about you? That's good. Uh, you said it earlier, actually. It made me think a lot. Camel Up. I love Camel Up. It's so much fun. It's this racing camel game. One other quick note, this is like almost our entire collection. We have a couple games out on loan just because we're constantly like giving people games to try and play. So uh, uh, one that comes to mind is Jurassic Parts. That's like a really great game that I've been enjoying a lot lately. All right, everyone. So that was our collection in September 2021. <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing this and I'm really excited. Maybe we can do it next year as well. It'll be really interesting to yeah, see so how the collection what changes the new editions are next year, or yeah. it grows. I think yeah. we might have to move <laughs> if it grows anymore. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and click that bell for notifications. It really does help. Oh my goodness, we saw yesterday we're at four thousand over four thousand subscribers. Thank you guys so much. And if you're new, 
Welcome to the Turd Ice family. We're really happy to have you here. And those of you who have been here since the beginning, thank you so much. Happy, happy playing! playing.